there. It is Tuesday, May 24th, and we are going to play some word games. Tuesdays are Quartal and Squirtal. They're orderly kind of days. And I uh, just wanted to say up front, because people don't listen to the end. Um, <laughs> that's okay. I know you don't. I usually sign out before the end, too. Um, if you want to make suggestions for a set of starting words for Quartal, uh, you may feel free to do so. I really enjoy when the words are thematic. So if, it, if they all have something to do with each other, or they have something to do with the time of year, or the date, or something going on, I, I think that's really fun. And I mean, we're all here to have fun, right? We're not here to just be all stodgy and play very seriously. I mean, I still want to win. So I don't want three words that are anagrams of each other, or, you know, 15 E's. But, um, you know, two, three, four words that go together and are also decent starting words, please feel free to leave those in the comments and you may or may not see your name in a future video. Um, I make no promises. I still get to exercise some editorial discretion. Um, same goes for Wordle. I take suggestions for second words. I always start with the previous day's answer. So when you make your suggestion, keep the same rules in mind. It should be a reasonable second guess based on what the previous word was. But also, if it's somehow thematic, if it's related in some way, like um, the other day I did money and then vault, um, I like that. And you're more likely to get chosen if I'm amused by your suggestion, <laughs> let's be honest. So um, that's all I've got to say. Let's play some more games. Look at me. I have a new frame. I made that today. I was pretty excited. I, uh, I liked the way someone else's rounded frame worked, and I finally figured out how I could do it. And uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. So I don't know. A little more sophisticated than just the uh, square, I think. Anyway, here's Quartal. Um, and since I don't have a set of suggestions for today, at least I couldn't find any in the comments, I'm very sorry if you left me some and I missed them. Um, I'm going to start with my three pet words, which are stare, pound, and fill me. I don't know why, but there you go. And they're pretty good. Look at that. I got a Y. We got a bunch of words. In fact, we have all of the words down on the bottom here. Stead. Looks like stead. And then fruit, excellent. And dolly, no, not dolly. Oddly, I think it's oddly. Yeah, <laughs> how odd. And then A L O R, I think. Valor. Well, look at that. I think I just proved my starting set there. <laughs> Got it in seven. Nice. No wasted moves on that one. All right. You can have my words if you want. Stare, pound, and fill me. I know it's not everything, but I feel like it, it covers a good range. Um, the only thing I don't like is it doesn't have H or G in it. And I do find it useful to have H and G. But you get all the vowels, including Y, and you get M and N, and you get, you know, the Wheel of Fortune words. So Wheel of Fortune letters. Take it or leave it. That's what I like to do. All right. Now we're going to play Squirtle. And I think I'll start Squirtle with Valor. That seems like a reasonable start. Now, Squirtle is an interesting game. It's the same rules as Wordle and a similar gameplay to Wordsy and Word 500. So I'll show you what it does if you haven't seen it before. It's relatively new. Uh, it gives you a score for your word. And the score is based on how many yellows and greens are in the word. One point for each yellow, two points for each green. But you don't know how many of each there are or which letter they apply to. So this has three points. That means it's either three yellows, two yellows and a green. No, sorry, it's either three yellows or a green and one yellow. I can add two plus one is three. So an odd number means you must have at least one yellow. Um, so either three yellows, which is possible, it could be like the A, O, and R, or it could be a green and one yellow. So what happens is after you make your guess, it gives you the score and then you can pick one letter to reveal the color of. So I'm going to reveal the A to see if there's an A in this word. There is not an A in this word. That actually surprises me. And so, as I said, the gameplay is similar to Wordsy and uh, Word 500 in that you're trying to sort out which letters are which color. But on top of that, you don't even know how many of each color there are. So I'm going to repeat the R in the same spot, but with four new letters. So something like... Actually, that's going to be pretty tricky. Let's see. Um, I don't really want to repeat a vowel, but how about um, I 
I might have set myself a difficult task here. I can also repeat the L or the O in place. No, I'll do it. I got it. We can do this. How about, um... All right, I'll do, um, defer. How's that? Defer is good. We'll do that. Okay, four points. So there's a very good chance the R is green. I think I'm going to go ahead and reveal the R. Oh, it's yellow. Okay, I was right that there's an R, but this means either four of these letters are correct, which doesn't seem likely given that I still need two more points from Valor, or I've got one more yellow and a green. I'm going to guess I, that I have a green. So I'm going to try placing the O fourth. And then I think placing an E second and see how many points I get with an R in between. So E-R-O something like Heron. Heron is perfect. Okay, four points again. So I was wrong about something. So since I know there is an R in the word, that means I did not place this E and this O. So I'm going to reveal the O and see. Okay, the O isn't in it at all. So that's very interesting. That means either there's a V and an L or V or L is placed. But I do need a V or an L for sure now. So the E might be placed. Now it's interesting that I got four points again. I wonder if that means I placed the R. I bet it does. So I want to repeat the ER, but I want to include maybe the L. So I could do something like, um, I was thinking like E-R-L-Y. Is that even a possibility? Actually, I'm not sure that it is. E-R-L. That doesn't seem like a likely combination, does it? So what about L-E-R? D-E-R maybe then. Verse? I don't think there are two E's, but I'm going to try verse. Oh, okay. Okay, so I do think I placed this E. I'm not going to reveal it because I don't want to waste it. I want to check the V. Okay, the V was placed. So there isn't an L. The V and the R were the were the three points. And I think that means I've placed four, I mean, eight points means four greens. There's no other way to get eight points. Three greens, I guess three greens and two yellows is possible. But I think I placed the R. I think I placed the E and the R, and that was the four points. So verve, probably, yep, there you go. I think I played that pretty well. It's a tough game. It's a tough game. And even sometimes deciding which letter to reveal can be kind of deep because like I could have revealed the R to see if it was placed, but I, I decided I needed to know more about some of the other letters because I could assume the R was placed and I was right. So there you go. Verve. What a word. Two, R, two E's and two V's. <laughs> That's very unexpected. I think I got lucky starting with Valor. If I hadn't started with a V word, I might not have gotten there. There's some luck involved. All right. Well, that is it for now. Uh, again, if you'd like to suggest words, please feel free. Um, it's not a guarantee. It's just an invitation. And um, see y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow, by the way, May 25th, is Douglas Adams' birthday. Douglas Adams being the author of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and who died far too young. Uh, and so it is Towel Day, and fans of Hitchhiker's Guide carry a towel around with them all day. So if you're interested in celebrating that, I will be doing a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy-themed set of uh, games tomorrow. Uh, my usual games, which by the way are Quartal, Squirtle, and Wordle Peaks, but I'll be using Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy related words if I can come up with enough five letter words from there to, uh, to make it interesting. Um, so that'll be my tribute to Douglas Adams. So look forward to seeing you and uh, have a great Taco Tuesday.